Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Maldives. We're currently in Mali. For the last couple of days we have been spending some time in Hulu, Mali, which is the island just across the road. But we had to come up early this morning because we're going to do some sea turtle conservation today. But we have to go to one of the other islands. But first, got to get some coffee. We have about 20 minutes till our ferry leaves. So it's not really like a ferry terminal, it's just a whole bunch of boats that just stop here. And then we just jump on here. Hello. <laughs> Hey, Hannan. Yeah, Good morning. Kind of cool. So some of the volunteers have put their little mark here on the sea turtle place. I love it when volunteer places have this. Welcome to the Sea Turtle Conservation Center. Okay. So the reason we have four little babies is that the issue in Maldives is that the locals like to keep turtles as pets and what they do is they put them in fresh water which turtles actually live in salt water so it doesn't work so these guys were actually kept in fresh water so what they've done is we've collected them and we're currently getting them used to salt water before we release them back into the ocean. So we're doing a bit of a rehab between fresh and salt water. Yeah and a lot of the times this is like quite stressful on their body so sometimes they don't survive which is really really sad but these guys are going quite well at the moment. This one's Pip. And it's currently feeding time and cleaning time. So we just put them in here while we clean and feed them and then they go back into their little boxes. So the trick is to try and catch them. <laughs> So these ones were kept by the locals and now we're just trying to grow them up to about 28, 30 centimeters. And then once they're that size, we can then release them into stage two, which we'll show you later on today. So these aren't albino, these are just the style of sea turtles. This is his green turtles. is concave. Aww. So I think the issue with this one is that what resorts do is when they see a turtle come and lay eggs, they then take the eggs and wait for the eggs to hatch. And eggs are really fragile, so these are the type of things that can happen to the turtles when you're touching the eggs. It's so sad. Oh, this one's my favorite one. So we put them in here so we can feed them and make sure they get the right amount of food. And then while we're in there, we clean out their tanks. They're so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the nursery and these are so cute. We're still waiting for them to grow at the moment. I think they're about 10 centimeters. So they still have quite a bit of growing to go, but like, look at these guys. A lot of resorts have kept them as pets. So that's the reason now that they're here, I'm trying to rehabilitate them, ready to release them in the next few months. Look at this guy. How cute is this guy? <laughs> so while they're eating, we're going to be cleaning out their tank. Breakfast time. So hungry. Feeding time. So we're feeding it tuna and these have all been weighed out compared to the weight of the turtle. No, their buckets look super small at the moment, but in like five minutes they should be back in their giant tank. You need it to grow big and strong. Alright, this one is Luna and she was caught in a net and as you can see she's losing one of her fins. So she's currently in rehab. Buoyancy rehab. So yeah, buoyancy. She can be buoyant when she goes back in the ocean. Yeah. So this one here and this one over here, they both have lost a, a flipper and they're in the same net. As well as this guy, but this one only has scratches. So luckily she kept all her flippers. You call them fins. 
So yeah, these guys need to go on a harness at the moment because they're still learning how to be buoyant again, seeing as they now only have three flippers. We're currently really smart, feeding. She's literally swallowing it whole. Whoa! So we just set them out like this, and then we'll put them in, have a little head poking out, and then like wrap it around their body so their fins are on their back. <laughs> and then it can keep them secure for about five minutes. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> Alright, this is Roshi. And he is ready, he or she? Yeah. He. He is ready to go into the next phase of the rehabilitation. Good. Oh, I'll get you in there soon. <laughs> oh, we'll get you out there soon. <laughs> so it's Roshi and Aaron. Yeah. So stage two of the rehabilitation is we actually have a sea enclosure. And they put them out there for about three to four weeks, and then they're ready to be released back in the wild. our morning task we're heading out to breakfast how cool is this little restaurant right on the beach as well Tasty. what is it again rashimi shumi <laughs> it's hard to say <laughs> roshi Matt. so this is roshi yeah that's mashumi mashumi and it's like coconut and tuna coconut tuna onion and like cabbage so wow like so this is like a traditional maldivian breakfast yeah looks nice mm -hmm. it's really looks really good, really good. We're going to check on the two little guys that we released yesterday. We got some food, so we're going to give them some food as well because we're going to monitor, you know, how much they're eating. The enclosure is for them to try and hunt and get adapted back into the sea. But of course, this is their second day. They're probably a little bit hungry, probably a bit unsure what to do. So we've got some snacks for them and we're going to go and feed them. Um, we got one. And is that two just there? Yeah, but they are not. They swim really fast. Wow, it's so cool to see them really like happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, look how clear the water is. Seriously guys, this is why you come to the Maldives to do your sea turtle conservation. There's a bit of a sand cave just over there and there was a lot of reef back there as well. Captain has found us an island. Alrighty guys, work is done for the day which means we have some spare time. We finished up about two o'clock. We had some lunch on the boat over because we've come to an uninhabited island here in the Maldives. And it's really cool because it's an ex coral reef research center. It kind of feels like we've come to Jurassic Park, but in Jurassic World when they go back to the like the resort because there's like, it's abandoned right now. I feel like I'm doing a bit of an exploring with Cody right now. First of all, this is a whale shark bone which has just been washed up onto the shore look at the size like that's my feet that's just one of the bones this looks like it was maybe part of or the back and just 
it's so humongous look at the sheer size of these things i could just like get swallowed whole so got these little huts here which is great for us now coming after it's been abandoned it's a little bit dirty because they just left so we've taken up shop here it's actually really nice like these chairs could be put into like a resort or something but yeah this is pretty much where we're gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon it's super cool also because there's like an eco research lab we went into the lab and found boxed up eco-friendly sunscreen so we got ourselves a little bit of a score here i was just looking around this little hut and i found some like really interesting facts here in 1960s plastic was found in stomachs of 50 or five percent five percent of seabirds today plastic remains in about 90 percent and this quote really hit home plastic designed to last forever for products we just use once Wow, I really hope that's not how burnt I am and it's just the camera doing an auto colouring. <laughs> but we didn't come to the Maldives to show you guys some abandoned places. Let's go snorkeling. our boat pickup has just come and we just watched the sunset and it is so beautiful but I think here in the Maldives once the sun has gone below the point that's when the true colors come out like look at these there's a bit more pink and then that's the sunset just over there and that's the little island we just spent whole afternoon on ah it was such a peaceful way to end our time here All right, let's see the supposed expert. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! Oh, that was so fast! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they were saying that they burn the coconuts and then they use them as like charcoal. That's really interesting. Yeah. That's too hot. It's so hot. I know, especially with it already being hot here. Just <laughs> <laughs> so having a barbecue with all the fish we caught. We're getting into it. I'm jealous. Oh, I'm so hungry. This looks so good. Guys, it's our last night and this is so cool ending it. Having a Maldivian barbecue with the fish that everyone caught barbecued right there. Oh, right. It's good. We're ending the night with marshmallows. And we're doing the Maldivian way with some coconut leaves made into a stick. Woo. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh my God, Ed. <laughs> <laughs>